have you ever seen a budgie that looks just a little extra magical? A bird that isn't quite blue, it's more vibrant. Well, welcome to the violet gene. In this video, we're going to break down exactly what that means and also uncover the mystery of why we never see green-based budgies having a violet color. Let's start simple. What is violet in budgies? The violet factor is not a standalone color, rather it's a modifier, which means it enhances whatever base color the budgie already has, whether it's sky blue, cobalt, or even green. Think of it as a layer of violet that covers your budgie, and that violet layer can shift your entire bird's look. With that being said, there is a lot more going on in violet than you think. And in order to understand that, let's dive into how this gene works. The violet factor is semi-dominant, meaning it's dominant over the normal color. With two copies of the gene, the budgie's violet will be deeper and richer, while a single copy produces a softer, lighter violet hue. Unlike the gray gene, for example, where one copy is enough for the gray to fully express itself in the bird, because as we discussed in the gray gene video, it's a dominant gene. I'll keep a link in the description for that video if you missed it. Now back to violet. We use a capital V to indicate a bird that carries the violet gene, and a lowercase v for one that doesn't. Basically, there are two versions, single factor, where the bird has only one copy of the violet gene present from one of the parents, and double factor, where the bird has two copies of the violet gene from each parent. A single factor violet adds a light violet wash to the feathers, think of it as a filter. But a double factor? That can create deep rich tones, especially when combined with cobalt. That's where you get those striking almost royal purple birds people love. The violet gene mainly affects the body color of your budgie. Other features aren't affected, but double factor violet can make the cheek patches more intense and richer in violet hue. Now let's discuss the mystery behind this gene and why it doesn't show on green budgies. The violet gene works best on blue series birds. If you're working with green series budgies, the violet effect is way less noticeable, sometimes barely there. That's because the green pigment masks the violet's influence. To help you understand how the violet factor works in budgies, I've set up this little experiment. Here we have five pieces of cloth, each representing a different budgie body color. Green, yellow, sky blue, cobalt, and white. When we turn on the purple light, the green cloth suddenly loses its bright green and turns a dull purplish brown. That's because green reflects green light. And there's almost no green in purple light. This is exactly why in green series budgies, yellow pigment blocks out the violet. There's just nothing left to reflect. The yellow cloth now looks reddish pink. That's because yellow reflects red and green. Under purple light, there's red, but no green. So the red comes through. Again, just like in budgies, yellow pigment can completely hide violet. Now look at the sky blue. Under purple light, it shifts towards lavender. That's because the blue in the cloth mixes with the red from the purple light, giving that soft violet tone. In budgies, a sky blue bird with the violet factor often shifts toward this lavender look. The cobalt cloth turns into a rich deep violet blue. Since cobalt already reflects strong blue, adding the red from purple light makes it darker and more intense. This is just like cobalt budgies with the violet factor. They get that deep royal purple look. And finally, the white cloth simply takes on the purple of the light itself, because white reflects everything. In budgies, white feathers don't show violet at all. They just reflect whatever light is around them. So, by shining purple light on these fabrics, we can see exactly how different base colors respond, and that's the same principle behind how the violet factor shows or hides in budgie plumage. 
If this didn't help you understand or didn't make much sense, here is another example. I set up a purple color with transparency. This one has high transparency to illustrate single factor violet. And this one has lower transparency to demonstrate the double factor violet. Now look what happens when I move them between the sky blue, cobalt and green. You can see where they show violet and where they don't. Actually, when I hover over the green, you can see how it turns into olive green. This is why it's very hard to tell if a green budgie has violet, unless you know its genetics. You could easily confuse violet green with normal olive budgie. Also don't forget, a lot of people confuse violet factor with budgies that simply look dark or purple due to lighting or camera filters. Here's a real life example. This budgie carries the violet factor, but see the nape? The yellow pigment there completely wipes it out. There is no violet whatsoever in that area. It's no surprise violet budgies are jaw dropping beautiful. Whether it's that rich plum body, the intense violet cheeks, or the way their feathers catch the light. They are crowd favorites in both pet homes and bird shows. In fact, many exhibition breeders intentionally breed cobalt budgies with that violet gene to achieve that iconic show violet look. Now let's see the genetics behind this gene. For simplicity, let's take two parents, each having single factor violet. We go to the Punnett square and see what would happen. And we can see that 25% of their offspring will be double factor violet, 50% will be single factor violet, just like their parents, and 25% will have no violet gene. Let's take another example of Punnett square where one parent has a single factor violet and the other parent doesn't have the violet gene at all. We can see in that case that 50% of the chicks will be single factor violet and 50% won't have the violet gene at all. You get the idea and you can create your own Punnett square if you want to know what would the outcome be of different parents. And if you don't know how the Punnett square works, I do have a video teaching you about the Punnett square and how to use it. I'll keep a link in the description for that video. So the next time you see a budgie that looks like it walked out of a fairy tale, it might be carrying the special little twist of genetics, the violet factor. Whether single or double factor, paired with the right base color, it adds that wow effect to any flock. Do you have a budgie you think might carry violet? Drop a comment, I'd love to hear about it. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you love budgie genetics as much as we do here at Budgie World. Want to support Budgie World and get cute perks? Hit the join button, it means a lot and helps keep the videos flying.